Andrew Kerr here on the Gulf Coast over at the United States Coast Guard Aviation Training Center in Mobile, and I'm with Captain Hulsler. Thank you for taking a little bit of time to talk with us. How are you doing? How are things here at the ATC? Uh, great, Andrew. Thank you. Um, so yesterday was one of the busiest days of my life, uh, that's for sure. We had uh, hosted 54 aircraft here in the Gulf area, and here at ATC we had 20, 21 of them. Uh, fixed wing, rotary wing, we flew 23 sorties, saved or assisted 17 lives and a dog. Uh, it's funny, in all the uh, situation reports, they always note if it's a dog. Yeah, everybody loves dogs. Um, but, uh, but it was busy. Our crews were up before sunrise. We actually did our flight brief at 4.30. Uh, sunrise was at 6.30. So we launched everybody out of here at 5 a.m., 5.15, and they arrived over the New Orleans area right around uh, 6.15, 6.30 in the morning so that they could be there. Uh, our goal was when people woke up in New Orleans, they woke up to the sound of Coast Guard helicopters. Well, I, I uh, heard you. I, I had to evacuate New Orleans, and I was over in Ocean Springs, and I heard you guys going over early in the morning, and I was like, yeah, do, doing a nice fist pump for you. So, I mean, obviously, you know, I've seen a couple Coast Guard units coming from around the country. Obviously, you have a ton of assets here in Mobile, but where are folks actually coming from? So that's the, that's the crazy thing uh, about how hurricanes work in the Gulf is that typically where the assets come from are the unimpacted places. So while Mobile had some 30 and 40 mile an hour winds and some local flooding, our people here are good. Unlike last year, when you guys helped us out with Hurricane Sally, um, our people are good here. The people in the New Orleans area, Homa, Sean, Laplace, all those places, I mean, having flown over those places now, they, they're devastating. Um, you know, thousands of people have actually moved from New Orleans, evacuated, sort of like yourself, because you're actually living in, uh, yeah, I was in, in, in New Orleans in the Bywater. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we actually have two lieutenants from Homa living in our house right now because they couldn't find hotels uh, for them and their animals. They have, so we have three cats, two dogs, and two lieutenants uh, living in the house right now. Um, and that story is, is, is rampant throughout the Mobile area. They we're actually hosting people, you know, brothers and sister Coast Guardsmen, that are from the New Orleans area. Um, I think we're upwards of a thousand people have uh, had to evacuate. Some of them are not gonna be able to go back to their homes for quite a while.